Welcome to our YouTube channel guys. Today we are going to show you how to make a hydrogen stove. This is very very interesting. You see? First we are going to pierce this iron nail through it, through the lid of this bottle so that a hole gets formed. You see we have made a hole here, now we are going to do, this is a drip set, this is a pipe of a drip set, so uh, this is its controller, this is gonna help us very much. See we are piercing this through this hole. So we have pierced it, now we are pouring some hot glue on it, so that no air gets leaked. So see what it looks like, this is fixed. This is a container. We have made a hole here. These three holes are useless. You don't care about them. We have made a hole here and through this hole we have pierced this drips, uh, pipe of the drip set. So let us proceed. So we are done this much. See what it looks like now. Now we are going to this is its lid but we are, we are not going to put it in uh, like this we are going to put it on on the uh, on its bottom so that this pipe gets covered up see see what we are going to do See, see what we are going to. Now we are going to fix this with a hot glue gun. See what it looks like now. So this is ready now. You see what it looks like. And now we have to start a reaction in this bottle. We are going to show you what that is and then we are going to put uh, its lid on this and then we are going to show you what ha what, what what will happen. We have filled this bottle with water, but no, you shouldn't put much water as we have done. So now we are going to put some aluminium in it. So we have filled this bottle with water and aluminium, see, now 
we are going to start the reaction we are going to take it to another room so we have taken it to another room this is some sodium hydroxide we are going to put it in this bottle not that much but some of it this is one of the strongest bases So we are closing its lid, it should be closed very tight, now we are shaking it a little, this is, this is good, first we are going to close this, we are going to keep it off until some of the hydrogen gets stored. you see uh, this reaction is taking place between aluminium sodium hydroxide and water uh, don't uh, touch this uh, because this is hot this time it's not hot but after five or six minutes this will, this will get hot so uh, you can touch it uh, in the early part of the reaction but later you can't touch it so but uh, it doesn't get too hot because it doesn't melt this bottle so the heat is under control you see this bottle has become a little tight now because hydrogen is in it so uh, I'm gonna uh, just uh, open it up and uh, my friend is going to just uh, burn it burn the stove you see I'm gonna open it he's gonna burn the stove You see, this is working as uh, this is this stove has become complete now. You uh, you can put utensils on it, so you can uh, prepare anything. You can uh, uh, just make omelets on it. You can you can put put any utensil on it to just cook anything. You can cook anything on it, so. Uh, this is very very useful and hydrogen uh, is very very uh, pollution less it doesn't cause any pollution so uh, don't uh, 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 environment won't get uh, environment won't get degraded so if you like our video don't forget to like and subscribe it's goodbye for now